Hi, I'm Ruby. Hi, Ruby. I'm Lee. Nice to meet you. I was wondering if you had any mic memories. Well, yes, I do, and, and it goes back to probably the first film festival that I participated in. Um, and I am a, I'm a naturalist myself and an expedition leader up in Alaska. And I introduced myself to Mike, and he immediately took me over and introduced me to my hero, Sir David Attenborough, at the award for his, um, in his honor at the Natural History Museum. And Mike, throughout the years that I've known him, has been incredibly generous and kind and helpful to me in my career and just point me in directions and giving me people's names that helped me do my job better. So yeah. that's, the, that's what I remember about Mike. Would you like to send the family and him any messages? Oh, absolutely. I, my heart goes out to the family and uh, hit me like a ton of bricks. And I'm, it's a big loss for our community and the film festival. Yeah, he Jenna. was a great inspiration. Yes, he was. He was great. Yes. So thank you for, for letting me do that. <laughs> thank you. He um, always uh, was doing the worst ponds um, imaginable. I mean, they were horrible ponds. Um, and um, I will, um, I, people, we would beg him uh, not to do the ponds. And as a matter of fact, I don't remember them because we actually wanted to forget them they were so bad but he just loved he loved uh, making puns and 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 he knew how bad they were so that they, his big smile and his big laugh is the one thing that that I mean I was a close friend of his so um, that's the one thing I'll always I'll always remember Michael is probably leading field trips in heaven right now do you have a message you like to send to him? Um, uh, that uh, that the festival was a huge success, and and that um, you know five thousand kids at field trip to the movies that came um, to see Rango and and learn about filmmaking um, last Friday was was all because of him, and um, and that. Um, you know, the, his tradition, his enthusiasm towards edu education will will be carried through, con will continue doing it at the film festival, and the real nature of films will continue doing it um, for him, because that was his passion, and, um, and we need to, um, you know, carry the torch for him. Thank okay? you. Thank you. No, thank you. Well, I don't have a particular memory, but what I remember is just his positive demeanor. He was, he was always, let's do this. How about this? What about this? What if we try this? He's always suggesting and he's always willing to take your input in. Uh, he's very dynamic and he just, you get caught up in his enthusiasm. It's very infectious and you really, you get a sense, whenever you have an encounter with Mike, you got the sense that it was always, it always made you feel better than you were. Even if you're in a bad mood, he'd make you feel better. If you're in a good mood, he'd make you feel even better. And that's what was great about Mike. Michael is probably leading field trips in heaven right now. Do you have a message you'd like to send to him? Well, you know, I just found it interesting that uh, it all occurred about the same time field trip. I just thought there was some kind of message in that self. But if I had to say anything to Mike, it's just a thank you and, and for always being a great supporter of the festival, being a good friend to me, and just just being who he is. Because, like I said before, what he's whenever you encounter him, he just make you know he just uplifts everybody. So. Thank you. I have a lot of different memories of Mike, but the thing that stands out to me the most is um, he had such a zest for life. He was always smiling, always energetic. He loved working with the kids. He he just had this passion that was just infectious. So very inspirational guy. I I'm still sort of <laughs> sorry. I'm still kind of blown away by it. 
Michael is probably leading field trips in heaven right now. What message would you like to send to him? Keep doing what you do best, Mike. <laughs> he, he taught everybody a lot. He taught everybody about um, the beauty of the world and why we should preserve it. And that was his biggest message, I think. So I'm sure he's uh, influencing people from above now. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Carol. You know, I what I remember most about Mike is that he was, in addition to being a really talented filmmaker, which of course is what he was known for, that he was a really kind, uh, supportive, helpful person to just basically anyone who would ask. So I actually remember last time I really talked to Mike, we were on a, a plane flight and he was uh, out to uh, visit colleges, uh, to look at uh, colleges for some of his uh, kids. So um, I think really what I'll remember most about him is just how, how open and generous he was with everybody who sought his support, and a lot of people did. Michael is probably leading field trips in heaven right now. Do you have a message you'd like to send to him? Uh, yeah, keep doing what you already do really, really well, because nobody else quite does that. So I still hope he's doing that wherever he is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, geez, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot over the last uh, day, because uh, he's a very close friend. I don't know if you know that I, I knew him for 25 years, probably. And, uh, you know, while I have a lot of memories on, under, around the ocean, probably my best memory of Mike Degree is his laughing, his enthusiasm, his just endless love for the ocean and helping us all understand the ocean better. Phenomenal guy. Michael is probably leading field trips in heaven right now. Do, do you have a specific message you'd like to send to him? Jeez, what message? I hope there's an ocean up there, baby. <laughs> you know, I don't know. He's going to want to be wet, I know that. Thank you. Thank you. Mike would just, you know, I don't, he, the way he went about interviewing these people and he had a shared passion with these other explorers and uh, it was an infectious kind of uh, passion that he had that even if you were a non-explorer, you felt like, wow, for a minute, you could walk with them through their stories and tales. So uh, I do remember uh, throughout the years watching TV on National Geographic and uh, I have two young children myself and seeing him on TV and uh, telling my kids this is a real explorer, a guy who's living life. So uh, it's a sad loss for all of us. It's a sad loss, but uh, to know that he actually lived his life to the fullest is something that you know we can all smile about. It's painful for us that are left behind, but uh, his mark uh, on this planet was huge. He made a huge contribution because he made everybody really aware of uh, uh, what the ocean meant and, and how it was a living organism to be respected and treated. So, uh, you know, rest in peace and my uh, sincere, heartfelt uh, condolences, condolences to his family uh, are in order and uh, it's a huge loss to the, to, to, uh, to the science community and the filmmaking community. So uh, with that, um, you know, that's all I have to really say. Thank you. Michael is probably leading field trips in heaven right now. What did what message would you like to send to him? Wow, that's a good one. He's that's so beautiful. He is leading, you know, field trips in heaven. So uh, I know he's having fun. And what would what would he be teaching? God, he's going to be teaching a lot of things. What it's like to uh, be an angel. I'm sure he's uh, putting water wings on people, and he's swimming with dolphins. And maybe every time a dolphin pops up, it's going to be uh, uh, Mike and his crew of dolphin angels. Maybe that's what I'd like to see. Dolphin angels. So when anybody does something bad or throws a uh, uh, a piece of plastic in the ocean, maybe his dolphin angels can come up and go, hey man, stop it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. I think, uh, yeah, I'd like to think that he's a dolphin angel now and that he's, he's uh, I don't know, that's all.